Welcome back everybody, Bastion here and today I thought I would take a look at another angle to Snoke's identity. In this video, we're starting from the position that Snoke is an original character, but I'd like to work Plagueis in somehow. So I thought, what if Snoke is an earlier attempt by Plagueis to create life by using the Force, much like he did with Anakin, but Snoke was a failed experiment, or at least considered to be a failed experiment by Darth Plagueis. Now, this is all part of Legends, but that doesn't mean parts of it couldn't be used. 52 years before the Battle of Yavin, Plagueis survived an assassination attempt where he was severely injured and forced to wear a breathing apparatus to stay alive. After this attempt on his life, he pulled back into seclusion and focused on his experiments. One standard month after the attack, Plagueis summoned Sidious to Abora to reveal the true nature of his studies and experiments to his apprentice, and for the next 20 years, Plagueis lived in seclusion focusing on his work while Palpatine climbed the political ladder. Plagueis even put his experimental results on paper, leaving manuscripts, one of which was titled The Science of Creating Life. Now, around 42 years before the Battle of Yavin, Plagueis and Sidious tried to will the Force into creating life, but the experiment seemed to be a failure. Many of Plagueis' test subjects began to succumb to various diseases as the Force pushed back, and he set most of the survivors free. So, what if one of these survivors was Snoke? It would explain his deformities, it would explain his power in the dark side of the Force, it would explain his disinterest in the Sith rule of two. He would hate both Plagueis and Sidious for their involvement in his torture with their experiments, but he would still be malevolent, having been embedded with the dark side. He would be a brother of sorts to Anakin, and this would explain his interest in the Skywalkers, but would also explain his hesitation to step out of the shadows while Palpatine lived. After Plagueis' death, he might have returned to the lab where he was experimented on and studied the manuscripts Plagueis had written, becoming a master of manipulating life himself. It would make him around 80 or so years old at the time of The Force Awakens and would have given him plenty of time to build himself up to being a major player in galactic events post Battle of Endor. He would be a new original character. He would be a Darksider but not a Sith. He would have ties to the Skywalkers and he would have similar potential to Anakin. In fact, he would be the anti-Anakin. And hey, if you're still on Team Plagueis, we could even take it up a notch. Let's say Plagueis transferred his essence to a test subject upon his death, and that subject was Snoke. The possibilities are endless, but we'll end this one with Snoke being a failed, bitter, left for dead test subject by Plagueis. Angry at the Sith, angry at the galaxy, angry at his own existence, but with an interest in his kin. If not by blood, then by the Force the Skywalkers. Thanks for watching everybody, hope you enjoyed this one, leave your thoughts down below, I appreciate the continued support, I'll hopefully have something new up soon, don't forget to like, sub and share, and until next time, see yous!